y'all it's Taryn welcome back to my channel I was able to get my hands on some of the Target and Diane von Furstenberg designer collab items I'm so excited to show you what's in this package the bright colors like the beautiful spring pieces now my store was limited on what was available so I opted to order online and I think that was the way to go though online so many things were already sold out it dropped on the 23rd and I think by 10 a.m., like Central Standard Time, my time, so many things were sold out in so many different sizes. So I did have to sort of get different sizes than I would normally get. But I also think that's a good opportunity to try the different sizes and see how the size range is, how the fit is, all of the above. So let's try some things on. I will link everything down below that I try on. I'll tell you what size I'm wearing. In this package is like a bodysuit, okay? Like a full on le like leotard. I think it's called a unitard. I took the opportunity, okay? It presented itself and I took it. So let's put some things on. Okay, wait a second. This was what I was, one of the things I was most excited for. The print is stunning. They also had this print in like a workout set. I wasn't able to get it. I did get a workout set in a different print, but this, I love the spring colors of it. So it's a very lightweight, like double lined dress. This was one I couldn't get in my normal size. So I actually grabbed it in a size 24, but it fits like the only thing I could say about it that's a little bit big is right here. It does zip up on the side but I was able to just pull it on over my head so I didn't unzip it but if I did anything it would be like a slight pinch here and that's it I feel like everywhere else this is so cute price was 35 bucks just for reference this is so pretty yeah just a little like slightly here okay we're doing so good so far now I'm a little bit worried <laughs> for the other sizes I got some extra extra large things some 1x I think and 2x um, and I thought this one would just be too big. And look at it. It's so cute. You know, if I am going to take it in on the sides, I'd probably take it in at the bottom just a little bit. Yeah, I'd probably do it like this. I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but it is mine and I'm the one wearing it. We're off to a very good start. Let's do this little dress next. I grabbed it in a size 2X. Here's what the tags look like, by the way. Super cute. Look at that. That's so, it's just so cute. I'm a sucker for things that are cute. This one, however, is a little bit see-through, a lot of it see-through. So it's double lined, but both pieces are just mesh. So you can really, can you see through that? You would definitely need to wear like a black bandeau strapless type bra with it. Now at the bottom there's tiers, so it's not as see-through, but all of the tiers are still mesh. Okay, it's a little bit sporty feeling. It's more fitted through the stomach, but not, spandex like it's very comfortable i love this i think it's so cute i'm just wearing my regular bra with it as you can see the straps are adjustable as well this will be cute with a bralette too i kind of love this <laughs> after like holding it up and showing you that it was see-through i thought okay well this is a dud we can't keep this because it's see-through but i would just wear a bralette with some black probably high-waisted like shaper type underwear versus just regular underwear so that i don't feel like everyone's seeing my undergarments. Does that make sense? And I don't feel like you can see through it, like wearing it, that's bizarre. Okay, I might regret this, but I just took off my bra. If you can see anything, I will put like a blur so that you know that you can see through it. Um, but I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like without the bra straps, like blocking the cute little straps. This is so cute. I have this beautiful jumpsuit next. It is super low cut. So I'm not really sure like bra situation what you would be able to do because on the model it came down like under the breast area, but it is double lined. It's this beautiful green print. It's in a size 2X. It's very spring, very like well made. Looks like wide legs at the bottom. So I have high hopes. I think it's missing the mark, which is unfortunate because again, the print and the fit is so cute. It's long enough. It's wide leg with pockets. I love the halter. I just wish maybe it wasn't super open here because any type of bra that you wear, you're going to be able to see, but it's really cute in the back. I have this tied super tight. You can kind of tell it's like pulling a little bit here because it was very low. Um, so this one, while it's really cute, I just, I don't think it works for me. Listen, I told you I took the opportunity to get my onesie. This is in a size extra, extra large. It's like a black and gray zebra print it went on really easy surprisingly considering the other sizes i was a little bit worried about sizing we already talked about that all right so this feels really nice i i don't know what else to say it's like a comfortable 
soft fabric. There's not too much compression. Like I probably could even size down if I wanted more compression. I like the little bit of a seam here to imitate a waist. There is no padding, no underwire, no anything, but it's racer back back here. Listen, I see all the girlies working out and things like this and I thought now's my opportunity. Let me grab it, see if I like it. How much was it? 40 bucks. This is good quality, especially like I probably wouldn't wear just this. I'd wear a t-shirt over it, but how nice because it's not leggings that will roll down. You just throw your t-shirt on over it. Wait, do we like this? Think working out, okay? Again, the t-shirt over it. You're not stuck pulling up leggings, yanking them up. Like everything is staying where it needs to stay. Yes, there's no padding in it, but a lot of times if sports bras or something come with removable pads, I take them out anyways. Now, maybe if I worked out like in a sports bra and leggings or shorts, I might leave the padding in, but I don't. I always wear a t-shirt or some sort of workout top, which is what I would do with this. But this is a comfortable fit. I also grabbed this little workout set, like a matching set. Both are in a size extra, extra large. I think the top is too small. I like the shorts, but if I'm working out in them, I prefer them a little bit snug. This extra, extra large fits tighter than the like one piece bodysuit thing I was just wearing. I love that these are high waisted. I like the length of them. I love a matching set, whether it's loungewear, pajamas, workout, wearing out of the house. We know this about me already. So this like matching things, I will buy them. I also love the logo here at the band of the bra. This is a cute print. Again, it's just a little bit like the top I think is too small. Last thing I have to show you is a quarter zip, like windbreaker, rain jacket material pullover. I thought the green would be so cute to wear over this workout set. I grabbed it in a size 1X. I feel like we've gotten a good size range. We've had extra, extra large, 1X, 2X, and 24. This looked so cute on the model on the app. Oh, see, why do I feel like I need every single thing like this? I just kept one of these from Kohl's, like Under Armour brand. You haven't seen it yet. You will see it. It's so good. But this green color is just bright and it's pretty. It's lightweight, which is good for where I live. It's a little bit warm. I prefer rain jackets, um, pullovers like this without any like super thick cottony stuff on the inside. The thinner, the better. This fit is really nice too. I thought that it would fit a little bit more snug. Usually pullovers I'll size up because they do fit a little bit more snug and I want a little bit more room. I'm also usually wearing a t-shirt or a sweater or something underneath. If you wanted to cinch it in at the bottom, you could. If you wanted to cinch it in like at the waist. Wait. I kind of love this. This is so cute. Maybe not the sports bra. If I want to get the set, I need to size up. The shorts fit fine. I wonder how much I paid. I need to go back. Wait, is this the tag? $25 for the shorts, which is a pretty good deal. Bike shorts can get very pricey, especially if you're looking for bike shorts that you plan on working out in and you want compression and high waistedness, like all of the above, they can get pretty pricey. So $25, I feel like is a good deal. The color is what's selling me. All right, that is a wrap on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will link everything down below. Like I mentioned, we talked about sizing. I think quality of this stuff is really, really nice. It's, in my opinion, more elevated than you would find typical um, like Universal Thread, Wild Fable, Avon Viv quality. I feel like this quality is higher than those brands. And the price point is nice because it's sort of on par with those typical Target brands, but you're getting a designer-esque type piece. I kind of want this. Okay. Let me know down below your favorites. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what pieces you're picking up, or if maybe you got something else from the collection that is incredible, let me know down below and I'll see if I can maybe grab it personal, like not for a video, <laughs> like just for me to have and wear. I don't own, I want to say any like designer pieces. So it's fun when Target does things like this because it gives people a chance to afford those and try those and really have cool pieces in their collection. So that's it. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye y'all.